Hello there, Sharif here from Connecting Software with another video about SharePoint Structure Creator. SharePoint Structure Creator could be your add-on to your CB Dynamics 365 to SharePoint Permissions Replicator, or could be your next product from us. Either way, let me tell you why you might need it. We all know that the default integration between Dynamics 365 and SharePoint is useful. It allows us to upload documents to Dynamics 365, see them there while saving them in SharePoint behind the scenes. The default integration either creates a document library for each record type, or you could, of course, group by account or contact entities. All good, but it can get better with SharePoint Structure Creator. What if you want to have custom names for your folders? What if you want to distribute your folders across multiple document libraries based on the upload date of your documents? Even better, what if you want to have this easy phone book structure? For your folders well it's not an if anymore with sharepoint structure creator you can do all that here the names of my folders are only my crm record names and here i'm distributing my documents to multiple document libraries based on the date of uploading the documents to the crm records and here i'm distributing my documents to multiple document libraries in a phone pop like structure you could achieve and customize as much as you want now if you want to see how i achieved above examples continue watching this video. Let's look at the settings here. You could navigate to SharePoint Structure Creator from any configuration. By default, it's inactive. Before activating it, let's look at the different options we have here. Let's take the folder names, for example. Default integration creates a folder with the record ID underscore the record name. Few of our customers didn't like that. With SharePoint Structure Creator, you could easily change that to keep only the names for more friendly folder names or just the IDs for more secretive folder names. To use only the name, just remove this part and job done. Coming to document libraries. To distribute documents across multiple document libraries based on the creation date of the record, we just need to follow the next steps. And if you are looking for a more advanced structure, we present you with our custom script section. To create that phone box structure with the subfolders I showed earlier, you just need to follow the next steps. you have it. Keeping the complexity to us, we provide you with an intuitive and smart solution to distribute your documents across multiple locations and customize your folder structure and even folder names. Therefore, you could overcome the 50,000 limitation of SharePoint and at the same time, structure your SharePoint nicely. Remember that the examples I showed in this video are a few of many customizations that you could achieve. Interested? Contact us. Book a demo and start your free trial. And of course, thank you for watching.